Greetings, friends. I don't know about you, but my week has been very stressful. Really stressful. <sighs> there was the deadline of the Foundations Revealed competition, which was February 3rd instead of February 13th, like I initially thought. Who does that? Yeah, me. Anyway, it was stressful. I sewed a lot and on top of me sewing a lot and trying very hard to finish the project in time, my baby's teeth decided to come through. Normally that's not so much of a big deal. This time it was brutal. It was intense. She was extremely unhappy, the poor little thing. So not only did I have a deadline and lots of sewing to be done, I also had a baby that was sort of temporarily turned into a sort of koala bear and just refused to let go of me for even a couple of minutes. So, you know, it's kind of hard to sew when there is an almost two-year-old clinging to you because she is in discomfort from teething. The nights were short and intense and just as she started to get better, my son got sick. Now he's less intense. I mean, he's not, he's sick, so he doesn't cling to me anymore. He just sort of lies on the couch being miserable and watching TV. So it was less intense taking care of him than it was of my baby girl. But still, all these factors in themselves are already stressful and put them on top of each other and you have an extremely stressed out mama. Extremely stressed out. And here's the thing. When the thing that caused the stress is over, the stress is not gone because I tend to hang on to stress. Like, I don't know, I build up the stress, residual stress, and it just refuses to move on. It will not leave me alone. So I've even resorted to drinking chamomile tea. That's how bad things have gotten. Luckily, my costume colleagues have got me covered because Retro Claude, Liz Capism, and Maris Armory have teamed up for a sew-along, a Regency sew-along, a relaxed Regency sew-along, <sighs> just the thing. So, got my linen, pre-washed it, let's get cracking and relaxing. Yeah. But first, let's take a look at the construction of the chemise. It's fairly simple. The body and sleeves are rectangles, the gussets are squares, and the gores are right triangles. This means we don't have to draft a pattern on paper first and can mark out the pieces on the linen fabric straight away. Because linen is very wibbly wobbly fabric to work with, it is recommended that you use the method of thread pulling, which means you pull out a single thread in the fabric to mark your lines instead of using fabric marker or tailor's chalk, as this method will give you lines that are actually straight. Darling, can I have a moment, please? I guess not. So, a lot of thread pulling later, I have a body, I have sleeves, and I have gussets. Now, what's missing from this picture? Ah, yes, a hole to stick my head through. Let's fix that. You might have noticed the absence of gores, you sharp tack, you. This is intentional. I wanted to know what length the gores needed to be before I cut them, so I had to put in the sleeves and gussets first. I fiddled about with the depth of the neckline, and in the end, I decided that what I really needed was to put on my Regency short stays I made earlier last year and measure it. This proved enlightening and made me realize the neckline I'd drawn out earlier was a tad too deep. I drew out the neckline using my trusty ruler and a box of sewing notions with rounded corners that you'll see later on in the video, because the footage I shot whilst I was using it to draw the corners of the front of the neckline is just too blurry to watch. Either way, I found the corners to be a bit too sharp still, so I drew in a softer curve by hand.
Okay, so now we have the body cut out. It is time for the sleeves. <gasps> oh, wait, I forgot interfacing for the neckline. Let's remedy that. Here, feast your eyes on some more thread pulling. I very cheekily went the easy route with this chemise, sewing all the seams with my machine and thus saving me valuable time. I did the felling by hand though, to get that wonderful hand finished look. Original practice is nice and all, but mama ain't got time for that. Well, there we have her folks. Is it my best work? No, but I am 100% not bothered by this because it is after all a chemise and intended to be worn underneath a dress. I do feel the need to embellish this a little bit because I know that they did that. They would embroider their chemises in the Regency era and I would like to do that. Now, Katie from Latina Living History has kindly directed me towards a very old pattern book, pattern for embroidery, that is. And I will be diving into that and see if I cannot embellish this little number a little bit more. But since the video for this is about to go up tomorrow, I doubt I'll have the time for that. So that will perhaps just have to be a separate video. Would you like a separate video on me embellishing this to me? Let me know in the comments. Well, that sure was relaxing. If you've enjoyed this video and would like to see more, please subscribe and hit the bell icon so you'll be notified every time I drop a new video. If you'd like to support me, please consider making a donation to my Ko-fi account, which I've linked in the description box below. Thanks for watching. Till next time. Bye. Kijk wat moet. Kijk, dan kijken. Maar kijken. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> grappig hè? Dat is wel grappig ja.